Hey up, I'm Vu, and welcome back to another episode of RimWorld. So, at the very end of the last episode, we have had a nutty, another lucky break. That being an infestation of all sorts in our beer room. So currently, we've got bugs and beer. Now, I'm not sure if that combination is a good combination, but I'll have to see how this turns out. Now we've had a, another good Wonderful suggestion by Cathra. I probably wouldn't have thought about this. I've tried it before, but we're going to try and freeze these bugs. Now we know well when these bugs actually emerge from the hive, hives themselves. Now the, these hives won't actually get damaged by temperature, but the bugs that come out will. Now the great thing about it is it's minus 18 outside, so we can actually lower the cooler down quite dramatically. That said, I don't suspect we'll be able to turn off the heater in time because it will require someone going over there to turn it off. So the other option is to change the power cable. Okay. So the idea is maybe remove a couple of notches just to make the thermos cooler here, the cooler here, as too far away so that it doesn't connect to any power anymore. That's the other thought if we can't get there in time. So one of the first things we're going to do is drop this down to say about minus fifty. We had that at 14. I'll have to check the videos when I reset all this, but it was probably at minus 14. But we're going to drop it down to, let's say, minus, minus 66. There we go. Nice and cold and freezing. And then when it comes to the heater, uh, well, we can't deconstruct it, but I wonder if we can toggle the power or get it to reconnect to a closer cable or some sort. I'll have to see this, how this goes. So everyone is currently at a party. That is fine and dandy. So let's see. I think we'll just let things continue on because we know what's happening. And ah, there we go. Bugs have already started spawning. So no, we can't get in there in time to turn this off. Okay, that's somewhat frustrating. Now the current power usage is low. I wonder if we can just drop this right down to minus 60 as well. Target temperature minus 67. Usage of power is very low, but is it still supplying heat to the room? That's a question that I can't answer very easily, but this should start dropping relatively fast. It's already at minus 13, minus 17 now. Yeah, that's that's looking good. Oop, and there are the other bugs. Nice. So, of course, we'll be able to check the minimum temperature before they start getting frostbite. Uh, minimum comfortable is actually minus 40. So, yeah, we when we drop it below that temperature, we should be good. My only hope is they don't decide to mine out of this cooler, because there isn't much I can do there. Uh, and I guess the second thing I can do is actually not hold the doors open, but forbid the doors. Because if we can keep people from wandering into this area, that should keep them a little safer. Well, let's see, is there anything else I want to do? Mm, not anything particularly. I think we do need to get this turbine up, just to give us a little bit of extra power. Though, as I've said before, it is tempting at times to build the fuel generator. Just to, you know, give us a little bit of kick when we need to. Like now. Hmm. Just wondering, is there's nothing really we can turn off, is there? Apart from that freezer, which really isn't doing too much. Or this comms table, which we have yet to use. Or one of these rooms. But if we do turn this off, we have a likelihood of lo losing these plants. And we do desperately need the food. Uh, we are only just getting by on unfertilized eggs and what's that squirrel meat? Squirrels don't have a lot of meat, unsurprisingly. Okay, so now we do need more power. We also don't have the steel right now either, which is part of the reason why the other solar generator is not being built. Yeah, and even the fuel generator requires a hundred steel, which is a little too much. I wonder um, when it comes to a battery, how much does a battery cost? 50 steel plus two components. If we deconstructed two, that would get us close to the required steel count that we need. Uh, I believe that's kibble. Okay, where's steel? And we have currently has 70 steel. So we're relatively close. Oh, that's actually nice to know. Uh, we could deconstruct a full and space plant that's nearby. I believe it's down north. Yep, here they are. There's a bunch of, oh, three. Hey, that's not bad. So deconstruct those, we get components, and we also get steel from it. So there's an idea, or we can just, you know, do a bit of encouragement and get people to actually work uh, on money at the last section on the left. I wonder, what are the restrictions like? Everyone's unrestricted for the time being, they shouldn't walk into this area, but the faster we get this done, the better off we'll be. So, with that, let's find out who's our miner and get them over there ASAP. 
Actually, wait, this requires 100 steel. 100 steel, we have 70 in storage, plus that was a pile of 30. So, no, in theory, someone could actually start building this now. Yeah, there we go. Too easy. Get them started, and hopefully these bugs don't start mining out. They will eventually, and there's not much I can do to stop that. So my hope is, of course, as I've said before, that we can keep dropping the temperature down colder. So at the moment it is minus 41. So we are slowly getting there. It's really, really good to see. Uh, let's see. Minus 40. Actually, yeah, that's enough for them to start um, their health to start going down. You know, frostbites and whatnot. So we're just going to keep them at this temperature for a little longer. Ooh. High temperature usage. I wonder if... Let's just drop it down to a minus 100. And I don't suspect that our cooler will get there. But it's worth a shot. Yep, but we do need to keep the power going. So how's the construction going? We bought the steel over. We haven't bought the steel over yet. Kanga, what are you doing? You walking all the way around to the steel? You are. Can't complain there. You are doing the work as I ex as expected of you. And the party has finished. Excellent. Okay, so then everyone's going to go back to doing their work. Hopefully we don't encourage these bugs to mine out. And yep. Just want to keep an eye on it very carefully. Because it is a little bit disconcerting. Bugs. Considering the amount of damage that they can do to each... Uh, to an individual person or even an animal. Said many times before, I'm, I'm not keen on them. And I do hope that maybe in a... What are you doing? In a later version that they get fixed up. And yeah, see, this has dropped down to minus 20, so... Yeah, running out of power means we can't keep this frozen, and they're about to mine out. Um, would that fully count as mining out? No, it wouldn't. Okay, so that's one block. Okay, we really do need the extra power. So, where is Kanga? You're still running around? Orange, you're consuming an egg. Uh, no, Kanga is nearly on the way back, so we're nearly there and building it. So hopefully this still counts as inside when they break this. And we have a cargo pod. Okay, that's nice to know. Not that we need it right now. So let's check room mode, which is one of these on the left. Oh, bottom right, sorry. Is it this one? Yes, it is. Okay, so no, it still counts as a room. Hideous, uh, very dirty, repulsive, you know, all those general things which you expect from bugs. Okay, at least, at least it's good to know that this is all should be roofed as well, which it is. Okay, so... The cooling will still work if we get the power. Which Kanga is nearly on the way and doing... Ah, there it goes. Okay. So we didn't manage to freeze these bugs after all. That is really quite unfortunate. Uh, okay, well, at the very least we can get the power. And then we can work out how we're going to patch up this wall and place another cooler in. It'll probably have to be when they're sleeping as well. Yeah, as long as you don't break through any other blocks, I think we'll be fine. Oh, that is a real nuisance. I was, oh, don't want to mark that, actually. Can I cancel? Oops. Uh, that's a real nuisance. I was really hoping we, we wouldn't have to deal with this. So the big thing now would be, will be to keep an eye on people to make sure that when they go on a mental break that they don't wander through a for, forbidden door and try to get access to this insect jelly, which for some reason our colonists like. And it will disobey rules for. Now, what, is the, what are these cargo pods? Might as well take a look. So, they are chocolate. Nice. I don't think our columns don't mind having a bit of that around. That said, it is a long way to walk around, especially in, what's this? Thick snow, which is a 52% reduction in their walk... Oh, 52% 50, um, walking speed. Of their base walking speed, I should say. So, yeah, that's pretty low. I'm not too happy about that. And, ah, oh, now you're mining out all the walls. I'd rather you didn't. It's just more encouragements and more encouragement for bugs to actually spawn in these regions. But no, if you continue mining that side, I'm fine with that as long as you don't damage this area. Because then we'll have issues with the food and shooting these guys down, it will be a nightmare. Uh, I'm just wondering if it's possible that we get traps or set something else up. Don't know. Do we have the research for IED explosives? No, we don't. Because what I would have liked to have done is maybe place one near the door and have someone open it up and run away or something along those lines. Because like I said, shooting down bugs has never really worked for me. Hmm, I wonder. Because the thing is that we have to patch this wall up. It's the only way that we can kill them. Now it is minus 10 outside and... 
Interestingly enough, it is actually 14 degrees in this unroofed area. Uh, that would be to do with this other cooler. Huh, interesting fact, even unroofed areas can actually have a different temperature than the outside world itself. Okay, so what I think I will end up doing is possibly placing a door in, in this place very soon. That means it will give us access. And uh, let's see, where are we going to place the cooler? Well, we need, to, we need to block up this point here, but I'm afraid that this Mega Scarab may wake up. But it's dead. Hey, wait a second. Serious? Ooh. Frostbite. Awesome. That's really what I wanted to see. And I suspect these other bugs are perfectly fine, though. Yeah, okay. That's actually better than expected. Uh, well, well, we still won't be able to walk down into this area, but placing a door should be all we need. Okay, let's do that. So we want to build a solid sandstone door. Because this is along the outside edge. So readers may choose to try and break through through this area than through the actual halls themselves. I hope that's not the case, but I can only find out. So let's see, sparkles, you've okay, fair enough. You decided to do a little bit of roofing all this way. I wonder how your needs you could probably do a little bit of work for us, like building the sandstone door, considering no one else was around uh, around to get it done. Hmm, ah, that's really unfortunate. Must say, like I said, I as you can probably have, uh, tell, I am somewhat frustrated that they broke through the cooler pretty fast. Uh, let's get it patched up and sorted, and hopefully the bugs won't be uh, too evil to us on the next day. So you continuing building it? Okay, cool. Well, I'll see you guys in the morning. Hmm... The sweet rays of the sun suddenly fall over our colony. Now, one thing that I may, well, I would have skipped just then, was the fact that since they were sleeping, people decided, hey, we've actually got access to this caller now, and we're going to try and flip it off. So, you know, people are trying to cower. So I did actually end up just toggling Falcon over here, and quickly, whoops, see daisies, not that. Ah, which tab am I again? Oh, one of these days I will remember the tab, but no, just flicking the falcon on just so they can quickly turn off the heater. Saves us a little bit of power, not much. But these bugs are up now, and we are still yet to continue finish building our sandstone door. Which, ah, uh, now these bugs are actually outside. I was hoping we could have avoided that, but, you know, a couple of blocks off. Uh, what's everyone doing? You're going to do some butchering. Butchering of what, I might add? Whereabouts are you walking to? You're walking all the way down, and uh, you're going to grab a bug. Uh, this, see, this is where I wish you could say restrict to someone from a particular zone, instead of only allowing people to areas. So if we were to say home area, I think that would be the easiest way to deal with this right now. Restrict people to the home area, and then we just move this from the zone. It prevents them from walking in and keeps our colonists quote-unquote safe. Not very, but that's probably the least I can do for the moment. Um, anything else? Guess I can just say, just remove those walls. Yeah, actually, one last thing. I want to add that, that little block there, because I do want people to get the door finished. And obviously I have to reset your priorities and sparkles. What are you doing? You're holding the last two blocks to the door. I suspect that you won't be able to with the bugs there. You probably flee. And trader, whereabouts are you running to? You're going to haul steel. Um, try again. You're hauling steel still. Uh, you're hauling steel still because why? Oh, people aren't restricted to within the home areas. Lucky I caught that quick. Try it again. And now you're harvesting hops. And I think sparkles where you're probably going to run in a second. Yeah, you are fleeing. That was the wrong way to run. Oh, I was really hoping you could at least get the blocks in, which you did. It's really good. And uh, actually, that said, if we could get someone to come around from the other side. Hey, wait a second. Huh? When did that happen? I was very sure there were hives in here. Huh. So the hives were actually were frozen, and that explains why these bugs are actually wandering now. It's unfortunate that Sparkles here is, has taken a few hits. But I wonder maybe if Trader... Ah, oh, you've got a knife. A knife might be all that's required. Um, or the other option is we let Sparkles get down, the bugs disappear, 
or move away and we get Treyo back over to pick, that pick them up. Yeah, okay. So that's actually really nice. Uh, some, there must have been some temperature which caused those hives to disappear and I didn't pay attention enough. Well, I wasn't paying enough attention, sorry. I'll try and practice my English a, bit, a little bit better than that. But no, sparkles might will still consider, continue to run away. And actually probably will make it away. So no, trade it. We'll get you up along this edge. Same with you, Kanga. You don't need to run all the way. Because sparkles can actually outrun bugs. Oh, that's really good to see. Um, so let's unforbid the door and get someone to come in from this side and see if we can get them to at least build the door. Slow it down and see what happens. So these bugs are not angled. Yes, okay, good. Uh, Trader and Kangal, I'll un unforbid you. Sparkles, I'll let you do something else. You are injured, so of course you should be heading towards the medical bed, which you are. Excellent. So what do we want to see? So Toxo, can we get you in and over this edge to build the door? No, because it's reserved by Trado. Trado, whereabouts are you, Trado? You are over there. <laughs> no, 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 no. Try this again. Toxo, we need you to build the door. Be, but you can't because you're not assigned to constructing, which means you probably can't construct. Right. Uh, no, you can construct. Let's put you on a four, just because I want you to do this while you're here. And see if we can just let, get you to start building it. Bugs should leave you alone. Just don't fail. Actually, that probably wasn't a very smart idea. Your construction skill is at a 3. And you learn at 33%, which is a standard rate. Just don't fail, because that means you have to pick up the blocks, put it back in, and those bugs might decide to anger. Okay, but I should actually unrecruit you guys. So you, you can... Oh, well, Sparkles, of course, can go back into the medical bed, and Kangaroo and Trado can do whatever they need to. So let's take a look. Uh, we have a combat supplier that it has come past, which means finally we'll be able to use this comms table. So we'll be grabbing whereabouts is Val, the eldest of our colony, at how many years now? 89. Getting on in the years. And okay, I've obviously recruited a few people without realizing it. Wonder how long that was. Oops. Oh anyway, well, let's get Val over here and. Not the dining chair. Val, thank you. We're going to get the, get get him over and we're going to talk to these traders. And hopefully we don't run out of power either. We are... What's that? We do have a positive gain currently, which is good. So hopefully we can store enough power to keep us going overnight. Which means these wind turbines should probably kick up a notch. That'd be nice. But no, so Val's going to get over. We're going to have a good chat and we'll see what items we can sell and buy. Now, where about are these friendlies? Because they're meant to be on the map. Ah, so they're on the top side. Okay, so that is... Is that really one? There has to be more. Smokey's one of our dogs, right? Yes, it's a husky pup. Where are the other friendlies? Maybe it was only one friendly. Hmm. Okay, I'll, I'll let them do whatever they're going to do. The bugs are outside. We don't have to concern ourselves too heavily with them. Oh, good. We've actually... Uh, we finally got around to talking to these guys, the Grey Raccoon, Interstellar Combat Suppliers. Uh, this is a hell of a long list, so as usual, I'll see you guys in just a second. I think this will do us quite well. So what I've done is we're going to buy 10 units of medicine. It's not much, but it should, might, should just get us through a little bit of a bad time in case it happens. So there's any possibility that it will. Uh, we're not buying a lung, no need to currently. Pain stopper could be nice. We do have a lot of people with, um, what's that, stab wounds? Well, not stab wounds, um, scar, scar, irrita scar irritations, I think is the best way to part, um, phrase that. So we're going to sell, obviously, 30 units of beer, just gives us a bit of profit, because we are a bit of a beer-based colony. And then selling a lot of the weapons off. No reason to really buy anything. Not that they're selling us anything that useful uh, and then continuing down just selling off some of the range weapons so before that was the actual melee weapons and so we're continuing down the list and then selling off a lot of the clothing as well because we do produce our own clothes so a lot of these are being stripped down from the enemies that have faced us over the what's this 25 episodes roughly now yeah i think so but of course we're going to keep some of the better quality shirts and items that said i did spot i wonder if i can spot it again we actually have, here we are, 
Masterwork Hair Leather Pants. Now, I'm wondering if that was someone in our colony which made that. I'm going to actually have to check our um, work priorities and, and see if that's the case, because that's really quite impressive. But no, continuing on the list, then we're just getting rid of rid of some of the cloth chooks, which are poor. Uh, even some of the superior ones are just pretty heavily damaged. So I think we can do better than that. The other option is we actually buy some power armor. That's incredibly expensive, and I don't suspect we really need it. Uh, unless we can get maybe like a full suit. A helmet, it won't do too much. Maybe protect against brain injuries, but that's about it. Um, but the personal shield, I just realized, we can keep that. So that's roughly what we're doing. So I'm going to accept that. And here we go. There's the items. So we can get hopefully get someone up here just to get our silver back inside. Uh, I suspect those two piles have been filled up, so we'll go into our main stockpile, which is there's no issues there. And we'll continue on from there. Now we are facing some starvations. We do have some chocolate, so people should probably binge on a little bit of that. I'm not saying it's the most healthiest thing for them to be eating, but. You know, anything's better than nothing, I suspect, in this colony. Now, I'm just thinking, is there anything we can do to just get people food at the moment? Or... Yes, actually, well, a lot of this is ready to harvest, so harvesting should be a relatively high priority on people. Plant cut is when you tell them to cut. So actually, sparkles and... Well, once sparkles is being patched up, you should actually start doing... Oh, actually, no, you're not on growing. No mistake, Toxo. Toxo should actually start um, pulling up some of the plants as well as possibly orange as well. And food, depending on what they're doing right now. So I'll keep an eye on people, which is all we can do, just to make sure they're doing the right thing. So Trader, what are you doing? You're harvesting hops. I'm not sure if that's the right plant I want you to harvest right now. And your decision to make wart means I probably should work on the priorities a little more. Yes, yeah, so... Uh, wart comes under, what's that? We one of the crafting, probably? Do belong crafting spot, produce drugs, cut stone, smelt items, or does it come under cooking? Cook meals, butcher food, brew... L co uh, sorry, I'll say that again. Cook meals at a stove, campfire, butcher creatures, fill food hoppers, and brew liquors. Okay, so when it comes to Trado... We've marked Trader down as a while on cooking and a three on grow, which explains why they've changed priorities there. So I wonder if we can just bump grow up for grow to a one for Trader, and that should help balance things out. I just suspect cooking will get done first, but I don't think it's a bad decision. And I'm I'm also going to put one up or a foo on a one for growing, just so we can encourage people to get the food harvest harvested before it gets damaged. That said, you did just decide to eat the potatoes raw. You don't have the trait, do you? No, you don't. Oh, what's going on? Oh, you're actually standing in the doorway. Uh, I would rather you didn't stand in that doorway. The doorway is not for you to stand in. And then meleeing? Well, you're pretty brave to do so. That said, you did drop 61 coins, so maybe we should rescue, rescue you and try and keep you relatively safe. I don't know, actually, um, we should in theory also be able to unrestrict people now and include this area back into our home zones because it's safe to walk there now. So something like this should be fine and... Oh, I guess I can expand a little further out. So we need to get someone over there to pick him up. So who's a fast walker? Foo, you're harvesting a rice plant. Uh, I'd rather you continue to harvest. Maybe we can grab someone else. Bower, you're cooking a simple meal? No, that really needs to be done as well. Kangi, you're consuming paper titles? Yep, you'll be the one. So you get to rescue. Yes, rescue, not capture. Because we have no intention of keeping them around. Uh, rescuing them and seeing how it goes. But, of course, traders on an alcohol binge, which is fine. So I've got alcohol left. Um, but hopefully we can get to the bug without Kanga fleeing. Um, hopefully we can get to the bug. That doesn't make much sense. What I meant to say was Kanga should be able to get to Cosmo. Cause, is it Cosmo or Cosme? Cosme. Should be able to get to Cosme. We're without too many issues. That said, you're probably likely to flee from the bugs. I wonder, maybe, let's see. Slowing you down. Uh, that said, you're not interested with about the bugs at all. Why is that? You've been set to flee, yeah. Okay, so the fleeing priorities for Bower has been set to flee, of course. And it says here, change how 
to react to nearby enemies when the colonist is not drafted. You're not drafted, are you? Oh, you are drafted. Okay, that explains it. That's fine then. Hopefully you can get back and these bugs will ignore you. Um, which means keep your distance. And yeah, by the looks of things, we're fine. Awesome, that's what I wanted to say. Now, Prancer, please ignore the bugs. Uh, I might actually restrict you to within the home area, animal area one. I think we'll keep you safest. And we need to train, oh, not butcher. Definitely not butcher. We need to make sure that we train these huskies, husky pups and the huskies. Um, because once you get the training done, they will actually play, uh, obey uh, home areas. And we're very useful when they actually get around to hauling items and stuff. So Prancer, when you're finished consuming the Sepli Seplopod, Seplopede, I'll get you back inside. Same with you, Pookie. I don't want you dead. Death by bug is not pleasant at all. Okay, so one of the things I was going to work on at the very end of last episode, but of course forgot, was um, we actually have access, I think, to... What is it, a machining table? Or is that what we're researching? No, we're re researching machining table. And Falcon, of course. Let's get you back this way. I want you to walk backwards. Yeah, that wasn't a very smart thing to do. Oh, that's cool. You can actually release the animals. Ah. Oh, that is really interesting. Um... Falcon, are you, have you been set to a master of sorts? You are okay. You are bonded with freckles, all right. I wonder, is it worth just standing in the doorway and shooting at this bug? It's only partly injured, and it of course won't be bleeding out anytime soon. Uh, maybe we will just get you to stand in the doorway. See how this turns out. Start firing. Yeah, because the, the bug's going to leave you alone. And yet yeah, the other ones have, have no interest at all. Yep, oh, and now it's time to get you inside, or do we continue shooting, because the Mega Spider is now attacking Freckles, which is what I was originally trying to avoid. Yeah, because it is really not damaged, it's only about down to half health. And I think Freckles will continue to well, I'll probably ignore my orders. Uh, can we run back, please? Nope, okay, definitely no, that's not happening. You're going to continue attacking Freckles, which is what I want to avoid. That said, if I let Freckles to fire, well, if I allow Falcon to fire over Freckles, there is a chance that Freckles gets shot in the back. Oh, that was not a smart decision. But actually, we did down the bugs, so that was worth it after all. Now we need to not melee or fire at Freckles, but rescue. Get them inside, keep them safe. And yeah, we should be good. Now, when it comes to the beer, we don't have any, any beer in the barrels, it's too cold for that. So we actually have to turn on the heater, which is where about is it? Toggle the power and also be able to call and probably patch up this one bit of wall here. Uh, I'm not sure if it's worth having a backdoor to the colony. It seems like people will use it quite a lot, but I'm also afraid that it st um, may encourage people not to come through our main defences. So I'll have to think about this. It is probably worth having a door here anyhow, so... Let's actually mark a little bit to be mined out. We'll place a door in... Actually, where are we placing the door then? I'm assuming you can place a door next to the cooler. Uh, I suspect there isn't any issues with that. And yeah, so we'll just build the cooler. Place it same way, which should be... Yep, yeah, that way. And then we can start brewing our beer, of course, once I set the temperatures and everything. <sighs> which will take its time, of course. Now, where was I? I was actually going to build a table for the electric smelter, which we're going to place in this room. There's no better location for it. So, there we go. One in. And I think we'll probably end up needing to floor this area as well. So, electric smelter. That will allow us to smelt some of the slag that we have around the place. And obviously, the slag which will come off of the uh, ship chunks themselves. Oh, and the other thing we're missing as well is a chair. We don't happen to have one in storage, do we? Well, we have a wooden pot plant in storage. Might as well install it in the room, there's no harm. Let's see, one, two, three. Suspect there are some in this room will actually have a gap. So let's see, one, two, three. Yeah, so placing the pot plant in the corner should be fine. So yes, we're doing that, uh, but we still need a chair. So once again, I think, uh, once I check what these uh, vents are, I'm going to build a chair, place it in front of the actual electric smelter, well, that should be should be good for us. 
Now, another thing we need to consider is, there, are there any other tables we want to put down now, or do we want to wait until later? An electric smithy would could be nice. I don't know if it allows you to repair tools. I suspect not, because if you can't repair clothing, then you probably can't repair uh, tools. Though, that's probably not a good assumption to make off the top of my head. Yeah. Okay, I'm probably right there. I could place it down to find out, but we're not going to do that right now. So, when it comes to extra tables again, I think the only other table that we need now, really, is the sculptor's table. Uh, electric crematorium couldn't hurt. That said, it is a very big um, building. Actually, it's probably similar size to the research table now when I think about it. But no, I, we, all we need is a wooden sculptor's table. These people will actually start doing some artwork, which is what we really need to you know, spruce up this colony, make it look good, and maybe make our colonists a little bit happy, happier. Uh, what's the other thing we can do? Well, I think we can actually move one of these chairs to let's reinstall it in front of this table, because we're actually going to replace the this research uh, bench with a high-tech research bench. So we need to start moving towards it. It allows us to speed up the research uh, that we currently are doing. And it also means that we can get access to these because we do need high-tech research benches and obviously the multi-analyzer to, you know, it's like a supercomputer of sorts, supercomputer for researching. But these events, Trader once again is on an alcohol bench. That's fair enough. We don't have too many issues with that. And Cosmine ha has gotten sick from an infection in their torso. Now I'm wondering, you were patched up but you weren't completely healed. You've been told to get best medicine care, I think that is fair enough. You did just go ahead and melee a bug. That said, we didn't ask you to do it. Huh. I would, oh, that said, you probably already used some of our good quality medicine. We only have three units left. Wow, that medicine went fast because I'm very sure we bought ten units. Okay, as long as you stay in bed, do we really want to give you proper medicine though? Immunity is at 1%, it's already at minor, yeah, which makes sense. How about just, you know, herbal medicine is fine, or worse, but you still get treated. So, Kanga, um, you are still recruited? Yes, you are, same with you, Falcon, which means both of you want to eat potatoes and go to bed and whatnot, but Kanga, we'll get you to at least treat Cosmo, Cosme, while you're here, to keep them a little better. Keep them a little bit happier. Well, probably not happier, but, you know, healthier. Okay. Well, it looks like we're on to, once again, another night. So I suspect that one of the last things that we can do, uh, before we end this episode, because I think we are slightly over time now, is actually fix up these notifications on the left here, uh, on the right, sorry. So we have a hunter with a ranged weapon wearing a personal shield. Thanks, Spoop. So I'm going to get you to drop the personal shield again. And you put your do now, unforbid it, and I think we'll get you to haul it now. Just so it's not, you know, um, getting damaged. That said, this is under shoulder, so it shouldn't. Uh, what's the other thing we need to do? Hunter lacks range weapon. Okay, Orange, you are a hunter, and you're a melee character. Well, I guess a simple thing for you will be to just fix you up and remove you from hunting. Which means I may want to turn something else on for you. Because that's not much work. Hmm... I think there's always going to be work available, so that should be fine. And that fixes those notifications. Apart from the rest of them, low food, low medication, tattered apparel, and pos uh, low break. Low break? Minor break. Uh, brisk. I think we're fine. So, we're going to leave it here for this episode. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you have anything to say, feel free to leave it in the comments below. But, as I've said in the past, and will say in the future, I'll see you around sometime.